Generic greetings and welcome to the alternative relaxation therapy otherwise known as Tracks the Train Set Game. Today's beverage is... Ah, chamomile, naturally. A lovely relaxing beverage. So I featured this a little while ago. People seem to find it quite enjoyable and indeed relaxing. So I thought we would give it another try. This time uh, we're going to try and finish the modern apartment mission. It's, it's basically a sandbox at the moment. So you will just place nice wooden pieces and make a wooden train set. And it's very nostalgic. But there's going to be challenge modes. And in fact there is a challenge mode. And that's what we're doing here. Which is to take these passengers over to this station. Which we did do one or two of them. But I didn't get it completed, so I thought I would uh, give it another go. A lot of people are mentioning about uh, all different ways and means of like uh, expanding on the game, because obviously this is an early access, saying like it would be nice to see like a sort of... Um We'll be nice to see like so, sort of a uh, cargo type one, and I believe that is planned. Also, people suggesting like other different trains and tracks and such. That would be quite good. Yeah, I, w I would like to see that. Obviously, the the. The whole idea of this game, though, is it to be very, very relaxing, so I don't know whether that's something they want to go down, like that route, whether it's going to be, like, proper hardcore challenge modes and such. I don't think there's going to be time trial stuff, but uh, hey-ho, what we'll do is we'll just crack on and see what we can do. So we've got a platform that needs to be placed over here, right in front of the television, which I'm sure people are very happy about. Uh, we get on our train, but I didn't actually want to do that. I want to see some other stuff. We've got, like, a, a station sign now, so you can actually click station sign and say things like uh, generic station one and click OK and then it actually places a sign there uh, or it places it wherever we need it to be so I'm gonna say uh, there is probably the place for it there we go that's quite nice I like I like that very nice very nice uh, we'll go for uh, unlock the random house and um, yes it just places random housing as one would expect that's a very very pink house <laughs> it's like um oh what's the there's a kid's show in the UK, uh, and it has, like, really, really bright coloured houses. I'm going to say Balamori, but I don't know if that is the right one. By all means, let me know in the comments if that is right or wrong. Uh, there's also now a booster block, which I don't think is strictly necessary, but let's put a couple of them just out of the uh, out of the gate there, and let's see what happens. So we will go forward. I'm going to max speed this up, and let's see what it does when we hit the booster block. Oh, yeah, it does actually speed us up somewhat. There you go. And here we go, look, into generic station one. Hi! And, oh, smooth. So smooth. God, that's some extreme depth of field. Either that or I really should have gone to spec servers. Other opticians are available. Right, so we'll head down and uh, we'll get all of these passengers to the couch. Because I guess that's where they need to go. <laughs> And I think I've pressed it about right. Uh, a little bit further forward would be about... I think that's better. Nice. And there they all go. So, a new set of passengers have arrived somewhere. Find them and bring them back to the first station in the, on the sofa. So they need to come back here. Okay. So I reckon, I, or at least I think they were around here. Yes, they are around here. Excellent. Um, there's also a station here, which is... Hmm, I don't, this is obviously going to be used at some point, and I have a feeling that this area, and also this area, may also have, um, sections added to it, so we might have to pick people up from here and take them over there, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to preemptively build the track, so we can just keep, like, driving about, because I quite like the driving bit, so we're going to go up, and then up, and then up a couple more, and then turn, and then, oh, good grief, we're a bit, uh, oh yeah, we're going to have to back it up a little bit, uh, well, actually, you know what I'll do, I'll go up there, up there, straight across, oh, that was the wrong piece, um, there, there we go, so you actually cross it, and then up another couple, so it means we can go straight and then turn and then right across there and then obviously we have to go over to that station again, so what we could do is go down a couple, turn in, and then sort of go like that, you see, and that then connects back up to this station, so that's fine, and so that's how we get back to that station, so we go up um, onto this, which is something I haven't actually placed, so let me just uh, get that on there first, it is a platform which will rotate right around and, oof, we also haven't got a nice, um that's the wrong button. Uh, we also have got a nice fountain, which, oh, that would hang off the edge, so that's probably not the way to go. A nice clock tower, again, would hang off the edge there. Uh, there's a town sign, there's a wedding station, speed check, you've got different trees, starting point, lamppost, fence, bush. Uh, what's a terrain block? 
It is... Oh, that's... Okay, no. No, we definitely don't want that. That is just a big block. Uh, okay, uh, to controls. Uh, um, where's the undo piece of the right mouse? Right. C. Ah, good. We can remove that. Oh, there's also a lamppost. Unlock. Oh, that's nice. Put one there. One there. And then we'll remove that piece there. You. Scoot. There we go. Right, excellent. Um, So, that's the first one. So, I'll come around here, uh, pick them up, go back around and drop them off. Then, I, d I really have a feeling that we'll, ha we'll have to take something there from either this piece or this piece. So, let's assume that we're going to come then back around on here. Um, we will obviously connect that back up because it should be. And then from here, we'll go uh, either straight. Yeah, we'll go straight like this. Um, and then turn. Like that. Alright, so we've, we've now went on all of them. And then right over to here. Um, oh, that's actually wrong. I'll have to back it up a bit. Uh, up. And then I think it's... Is it the two? Yes, it is. Then straight across. And then down one. And then down to there. Cool. So, we have made sure that we can... Actually, what we're probably very best of doing is connecting it back up to that bit there. Up and up. There we go. And now we've got a full connection. So everything is connected up. That looks a bit chaotic. Um, so let's let's not place any stations because I don't know if they will spawn there. I'm just trying to cover all my bases. Maybe we'll have to go under here or whatever. Right, let's press T and let's see if I can remember which... Which, uh, where the points go on this one, because I don't think I can. Um, I think it's straight ahead on here, and then it should be uh, hold right, and then, yeah, that that's, yeah, hold right. And then, oh, all the lights are on, excellent. And press space, and then that breaks everything, and not breaks as in falls to pieces. Um, although, to be fair, stuff is sort of just floating in midair, which I know a lot of people were having uh, some issues with. They weren't really happy with the things that floating in midair and would um, either suggest, you know, not having it in general or going for, like, it would be nice to have, a like, a, f a proper physical mode where you have to build, like, struts and place, like, blocks underneath. I actually agree. I think that would be a very, very good mode. Obviously, the whole point in the game is to be very relaxing and nostalgic and like that, but um, I also do really like the idea of having to uh, connect these up instead of them float midair, but hey ho, it's early access, anything can happen. Right, so we'll go to the station, drop this off, and then we'll see what the next one is. If there is a next one, let's say I'm just assuming that we need to do something else, uh, you can actually uh, drop these off, or when you get near the station, they'll start moving, or when you <laughs> when you stop, so when you start pulling forward, they jump off. A set of business passengers are waiting on the dining table. These must be taken to the business station within the time limit. Ah, so there is a time limit. Uh, we've got two minutes to do this. Okay, so we'll need to go up and around, and then we'll need to go this away, and then... Oh, well, to be honest with you, we could probably just do that and, um, no, hang on, go up one, and then there you go, that's actually connected it here. Uh, they're all on that track, which is generally classed as dangerous, and they certainly do recommend that you, uh, stay away from this sort of place. I'm going to place that there so they all go on it, and then quickly get back on the train, because I've only got a minute and a half left to actually get these business passengers, because they, they've got a lot of business to do, you see, so I need to make sure that they can, uh, get there in time. So this is where the game gets a bit iffy because it's you know it's a nice relaxing game about the trains and blah 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 but um, hang on this is this is not that relaxing right I mean we're having to do a time trial mode now where we're up and down and all sorts but uh, I think we'll easily do this I'd I'll be honest if I didn't connect these up we'd have a lot of difficulty. I mean, I didn't get it exactly right, because when I placed the track on here, you can see it was in the middle of all the passengers, but um, it does seem to have worked out. But if I didn't do this, there's no way I'd be able to build this track in less than two minutes and get the train around here, because obviously it's not the fastest train, it being made out of wood. So let's just drop the people off there, and then... Oh, that's about right. And then let's see if we uh, get that completed. Hmm. 20 out of 20. And there you go. We've now got normal 0 out of 15. Um, I don't know what that means. Is it trying to point out that there are another 15 passengers somewhere? It might. It does say normal, so... Ah, there they are, look! 
You cheeky things, hiding underneath there. Oh, okay, hang on, wait. So if we're gonna come along here, what if we go along and then down, and then down, turn, and then do this? I think we have to go, um, probably that'll do us. And that's ah, just off. Mm. Gonna have to, I'm gonna have to go through the passengers, sadly. And it says normal passengers, so it'll be over to that station, wouldn't it? I would assume so. So. There we go. That's about right. I'll be honest, um, another mo another mode as well would be would be the, the mode where you only have a limited number of parts because, uh, yeah, I, d I don't know... I don't know who our supplier is or I don't know who our parents are buying this or benefactors, whatever. But um, either way, obviously money is no object. If you've got this amount of wooden train set, then you've got... You know, a lot of money. Also, the ability to uh, completely break physics and indeed um, travel to another reality where you have weird floating doors and cabinetry and then just, just white space. Um, <laughs> but you know what I mean. It's a lot of track. Right, let's press G. Go to platform. Put the platform in like so. Can we put it right at the back? We can. And then what I'm hoping is that the... Uh, if we're going to use a lamppost. I'm going to uh, unlock this other lamppost here. And it's a double lamppost by the look of it. And I want to place it inside like so. Oh, for some reason it's not going correct. Look at that. It's actually going... It, it's... Oh, no, that's about right. Why are you no place? Nah, that'll do. I'm hoping that's... No, it's not. Oh, literally unplayable. Look at that. It's not lighting the place up properly. Yep. L zero. Ten. You know, just... <laughs> What we're gonna do. Right, uh, so train is over there, so it is straight ahead, straight across, continue on. Actually, it's just straight. It's just it's just max power until we get there. Actually, let's not max power it because um, as we've seen, you can actually fall off the uh, off, off off the track if you go too fast over the over the jumps. And yes, you can actually make a jump, you can jump the train over things. That is something that um, I saw in the trailer, and I think I did do uh, not in the previous video, but when it was in a um, like a sort of prototype state, and we'll just break, and then... Hi, guys. Have you been stuck under here long? Yeah, there we go. I assume these are not randomly generated. I assume they're not randomly placed throughout the area, but um, who knows? I mean, we could get some on top of the wardrobe. But wardrobe? Well, maybe not because there's no wardrobe here, but like, things like on top of the door and such. But let's just go around, drop it off back to... Uh, the colourful town, the rainbow town, and... Oh, look at that. Almost perfection. And what's the next one going to be? Is there going to be a next one? It does say... Oh, business again. Where's the business? Business is... Oh, I can't see the business. Oh, there's the business. The business is up there. Right, okay. So from here, we go left, and we go up, 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 and up, and then straight. Urgh, come on, move the camera up. There we go. And then uh, straight. And then, actually, no, we'll turn a bit. And then go straight ahead. And then we need to go back to the business, which is straight over this way. And then, um, oh, there's no way I'm going to get on that track, is there? Um, down there, and then down, 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 down. Oh, no, we might make it. We might make it. Um... Oh, we're good. Right, okay. Power, power, power. Let's go. <laughs> so it is this way. Um, I don't think I'm going to make it. I've only got 30 seconds to do this. It is a left here, and then it's up. Oh, I forgot to put the station in as well. Um, right, I'll have to stop it and then put the station in. Nah, I'm not going to make this. And also, I'm about to run over a lot of passengers. Oh, God. Uh, health and safety. Uh, right, press G. It's, it's beyond health and safety. It's just flat out dangerous. Um, and then, nah, we're going to have to... We're not going to get this done. We'll press that there, and then even if we're going to be on here, yeah, that's it, look. Nah, I'm not going to get there. But I will get the passengers on. I mean, we'll get them We'll get them delivered. It's a British way of doing things, you know. Even if it's going to be an absolute failure, you continue going. That's just uh, where we do things. Actually, it's, it's multiple passengers, have you noticed, actually? 
It's it's business and normal. Uh, okay, fine. So I'll have to drop them off at the uh, the business station and then at the normal station over there. Uh, interesting. So it's mixed bag, mixed bag. Yeah, I'm interested to see what uh, other gear they add here. Oh, good grief! That's a lot of power going down there. What I don't like is when you press space, it when you press space, it breaks the train. So when I press space, watch it'll it'll put the train to zero. But you can't actually alter the speed. See, I like I press space to zero the speed. So say right when I want like throttle zero setting, and then it slowly ramps down. But um, it means if you're going max speed and you want to say slow it down to a little bit, so say one third. You can't press space and then accelerate it back up. You'll actually go all the way to zero and then speed up, which I'm not a big fan of. But anyway. Um, I guess there's limitations when your train set is made out of timber. So we'll go this way and I guess we'll follow the... Ooh, can we go this way? Yes, we can. We can take a left here, I think. And... Ah, no, we can't get round. We can't. So I'm going to do... I'm going to slow the train down. Actually, I'm going to bring it to a halt there. And we'll have a check. So we are over here. Get very, very disorientated. Um, we'll come along and I guess from this piece, we will say rotate straight and then rotate. And then we are now connected. So we can actually get back to where we need to be. Like I say, these tables have not yet been utilised, but um, it might be. And then we'll say left here go and this is the normal station space bar and totally messed it up hang on i'll back well i'll get us there eventually it looks like most of them are jumping off anywhere because you know mind the gap <laughs> fine and there's all of the passengers at least what those there and there's the last passengers an adventurous set of passengers have arrived find them and make the train jump five times before taking them to the station Make the train jump five times. Right, well, we need to find the adventurous set of passengers. It is... Um, they're not there, they're not under there, they're not under there. Are they there? No. Um, would they be high up if they're adventurous? Yep, that's exactly the way they are. They've jumped five times. Well, for a start, I need to get up there, so... If we utilise this original piece of track, we can come along. Oh, no way. There's no way we're going to utilise this piece of track. We'll come, come along here. We'll go straight. And then we'll what we'll do is we'll split the track off to the left and then go up. Even going up, we're not going to make it. No way. So, we'll have to do that. Um, I think that's about right. Bit more. Okay, so we need to make the train jump. Well, what I can do is simply go down like that. And are these just normal passengers? They are just normal passengers, yes. So all I need to do is connect this track up somehow. There's that connected up. And then surely I just say delete that piece of track and it'll go thunk, thunk, thunk. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's just, yeah, that'll do. And then what we'll do, because we can, we'll add that piece there. Um, How do you drop the tool? This is the problem I was having before. Like, I, I don't want to build any more on that one. Um, You just press, no, you just press uh, C. There we go. I'm making sure that uh, if we miss this, we're at least going to land. So land, land, land. That one's the one I'm a bit worried about. You know what? I don't fancy... I really don't fancy trying that jump. Um, okay, so one, two, three... Hang on. One. One jump, two jump, three jumps, four jumps, five jumps, six jumps. Right, okay, so the train... Oh, actually, wait. Before we forget. Platy form. Job done. And... 
that should be about right. So our train is parked over at the... I forgot where the train is. There it is there. So I'll come along. It'll go straight ahead, straight ahead. Uh, take a right and then left and then up that way. Okay, no problem whatsoever. We know where we're going. Okay, so this is a jump challenge now. Yeah. I mean, I'm not entirely sure what kind of business we're running here. Um, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> I'm not arguing we're going to get a jump a wooden train. I guess there's the sort of things you might do with a wooden train set. I mean, you also might, you know, put a... Put like a an action man or a Barbie doll or something on the train track and run it over as well. But it just depends on how sadistic a child you were. And then we'll just press space and job done. Other action figures and uh, whatnot are available. Right, so they'll get on and then we need to jump the train. So power! No, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna max power. I think half speed and oh my god, this is gonna be a bit of a dodgy jump. And one jump, two jump. Three jump, four jump, five jump, six jump, and yeah, they're all happy. You all right? Is everyone a bot? Where's Derek? Oh crap! Derek's on the flop. <laughs> We've lost him. Right. So I think that is a job well done. I thought we were going to go off the edge there. Putting them extra struts back over, the extra pieces of wood back over, was definitely the way to go. Because if we didn't have that, then um, we'd have a lot of problems with just uh, probably undershooting it and then landing on the floor. And I don't know if you can actually complete... I guess you can just reset the train, but I don't know if you can uh, complete that there. But, um, yeah, no, and that's all for now. That's it. That's our last set of passengers. And that is a little bit of tracks the train sector in. Um... A lot of track we've laid. It's, it's, it's a hell of a lot of track. Um, as you can see, that is um, quite a quite a big bit of track. Yeah. Nice though. I mean, I think we've we've done all right. I quite like it anyway. Either way, looking forward to see what happens with um, with the game as it progresses. Uh, there's already been a couple of uh, patches since the, like I said, that last video there. Um, I think it was things like the, I don't know if the street lamps, I think this is new, the uh, the stations and such. And um, looking forward to see what ladder. Like I say, it'd be nice to see more challenges, more pieces. Would really like a mode that's like an uh, like an economy mode, so you can't just build unlimited track. You had to you have to build like a a track within a certain budget so each piece may cost like you know five generic units of currency and you know these are like 10 or whatever and uh, it would be more like a puzzle game I think that would be a nice way to go. Also, a one where you do have you do have to um, sus suspend these. So if you don't, they will just fall down. So whether it be a uh, big struts going at the bottom or just uh, a big pile of wooden blocks, and that would be just fine with me. And then you can actually have tunnels going through the wooden blocks and all sorts. There's loads of ways you can go with this one. And obviously, you've then got different points and stations and cars. And yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. As always, links in the description so you can check this game out yourself if you do so desire. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.